I was a regular on the chat rooms on the deep web back when I was a sophomore in high school. Literally every day for about five months straight. Before school, after school, after basketball practice, and before bed. I was always on there. I'd chat with this one guy all the time because he seemed really cool. He'd always link me to funny videos. In about a month three, it all changed. He would send links to weird rooms, then the dark live streams. So one day I was on a stream and there was a lady chained to a bed and gagged. Then I clicked off of the stream and I tried to click something else. Then the mouse quit moving. It started to move by itself and clicked back on the stream with the lady chained down. When it opened back up, the lady was still there and a man with a potato sack on his head was on the screen. The potato sack only had one eye cut out, and that's all. There was a table that had a hacksaw, gun, and scissors with a shaving razor. The man spoke into the camera and said, pick one. Everyone picked the scissors and the razor. He then shaved her head. After that, he said, pick another one. And everyone picked the gun. He picked it up, held it to her head. While the woman was screaming, and then I gained control of the mouse and clicked off of it. I was thinking to myself, what am I watching? Then my mouse clicked on another stream. It was the same man with a barrel with what looked like boiling water in it. I tried gaining control of the mouse, but I couldn't. Then I heard a different woman crying in the background. The camera then zoomed out, and on the screen I saw the barrel, a bat, and a flamethrower. Then the masked man asked which one. The chat was split between the boiling water and the flamethrower. The man then said, I'll use both then. He rolled the crying woman into the side of the camera, turned the flamethrower on, and aimed it at the barrel. At this point, he had her chained to the wheelchair. The water in the tub was boiling out of control. She started kicking and screaming even more. The man called another guy in the room. They unchained her, picked her up, and threw her toward the barrel. The screen then went black, but I could clearly hear the woman screaming and splashing. For about two minutes, that's all I heard. Then it stopped. The screen then came back and it was focused on the barrel. The two men just stood there, staring at the camera, breathing heavily. And that woman, I don't know how to explain it, but it was a terrible sight. Then the stream ended. I closed out of everything and I sat there in silence for a while. Honestly, that wasn't my last time on the dark web because I honestly enjoyed it. There are a lot of people out there like me, more than you think. Be careful about going on the deep or the dark web.